all the nose up there. Uh, 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 uh. For my new chick, try and get fit. Said she too thick. Ain't no such thing as too thick. What you want to be a too thick? Hi, loves. Welcome back. So I'm really happy to be back. I feel like I was gone for a very long time. So, so I'm actually trying like some new color pop stuff, and I have some concealer, some foundation, some setting powder, some pressed powder. So I'm pretty excited to see what this holds because I actually love ColourPop and I use their, uh, I guess, what is it called? The eyebrow pencil every, practically every day. I do makeup. Everything I have as far as ColourPop and then I might have to use like other powders like contour powders and stuff like that. So this is the shade black and brown and you guys know I used to do my brows black and I don't have a problem with still doing that but um, look how thick they are like I can use black but the black and brown works just fine but that's those right there so this one's 36 and that one is 40. So yeah. Yeah, I know I like to go on top too. So I guess it went on smoothly. I like that it's not too bright for like an under, like carving out the brows. This brow is always smaller than that brow. Anywho, so I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm a beauty blender. My beauty blender is dry. I don't wet it. Um, you'll see when I actually blend out my under eye, I just spray my face before I do it instead of wetting the beauty blender because that takes off a lot of product. But I know some people swear by it. I guess it blended blend out pretty easily. But anywho, I'm going to go into the eyes. And I'm using the Dream Street, like I said earlier. And this is the, what is it? The Kathleen Lights Times Color Pop collab. So these are the colors in there. I'm probably going to stick around here. And I'm going to go in, I guess, for a transition. I'm just gonna go in, that's not Twinkle. That's not Shooting Star. I'm confused. I think it's Twinkle. I don't like when it's on the bag. That makes it so complicated. And this is like a new brown color. It's not gonna really show up because it's new. I'm just using it for our transition. It actually showed up pretty nicely. So I'm gonna take another fluffy brush. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys the colors that I use. Just in case you don't have the palette, you can get an idea of the color. So this is the one I use for my transition. And the next color I'm going to use is... I'm going to mix these two right here. So that's Sweet Dreams and Water Bearer. I believe. I'm going to take that basically right on top of that transition. But moving it down a little bit. And I'm actually putting this on really softly. It has a nice thickness to it. And I've used this before on Brittany and I use it on myself. So I'm pretty familiar with it. But I'm just going to shoot that back and forth. I'm actually like pretty basic with eyeshadow. Like I do not do the most. I promise. Magical and shooting star. So I'm not really sure. Look at it. These two shimmer colors. I'm going to go with shooting star. And if I don't like it, I'm going to just go on top of that with magical. Whatever. That's so nice. Oh my it's so subtle and that's like basically my makeup. 
when it comes to eyes. So I'm not going to put anything extra on here, I'm just going to blend it out. So then I'm going to take Dark 175. I haven't seen it on my face, I just swatched it on my arm so I'm like, please work. Oh yeah, um, I've seen people mention that it doesn't come with a cap but it does come like you can twist it and lock it. So that's that. So that wasn't even a full pump, but it's like spreading a lot. So it looks pretty good on the face to be honest, like, um, it looks pretty good. My undertones, I guess, I don't really know. I guess they're like more golden, but I like it. It has a nice smell to it too. I'm just gonna put on back of my hand because it would just seep into the brush, and then you saw it running from my face. So I haven't color corrected since like last year. I just like quit. I just was like, I'm just gonna give me some buildable foundations and that's that. But I haven't color corrected to be honest. All right, now rain. I, I did not see rain in the forecast. I went to the post office. It was a nice sunny day. I shipped off some wigs, but honey, it's pouring down. What it looks on camera, like in person, it's not as I guess shiny ish. But over here, it's kind of matte, and I think it is supposed to be matte. I've seen that a little goes a long way with a lot of my concealers, so I haven't been using that much of them. Just like dots, you know? Just like that. And then I just blend them out, so. That's that one. I'm going to go ahead and put the... Oh, this is medium dark 36, not 38. I'm going to put like a few dots of that on top. Like, it's not that big of a difference, but it's a little brighter. And I'm just gonna do that for the under eye, not the bridge my nose and stuff. Spray my Mario Badescu, and I just bought like two more using Ulta because I'm running low. So. I literally hold my breath before I do that. Okay. So then I'm gonna blend it out instead of what am I being blending out? This is how I blend it out. It's blending out okay. I don't have a big mirror to look at myself like I have one back here, but um, usually I'm sitting in front of my mirror on my vanity. So. It's blending out okay. It's like, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna blend the rest out and see what it looks like. Like it's not thin, but it's not thick. It doesn't have like, but it has like good coverage. Like I like the way, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, what is this? Uh, I like the way it blends out. For being honest but this is like bright honey and I didn't even use that much of the um 36 go ahead and contour now I'm using the deep dark 56 to contour 
It's a little long. Oh my gosh. Okay. I held my breath for that. I held my breath. See, the color wise. Color-wise, this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm doing it! Okay, that's not bad. It's not too bad. It looks like my banana, to be honest. It's very fine, like, I like that. I think it's gonna blend out seamlessly. I'm loving how my face is turning out, like, as it's setting, because at first I was like, girl, hell no. Um, so I'm gonna use my usuals, Cara 54 lashes, not 54, Cara 805 lashes, and I get these from Shopmas A4 Doll, I always say it, and then I'm going to stack them with the new ones I'm trying called Scarlet, and this is by AOA Studio, and this is also on the um, Shopmas A site, so that's what these two look like, so I'm going to stack them, so I used to stack them like on my eyes, but I'm going to try to stack them and then put them on my eyes, because I think it'll be easier that way. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Please, power, do not go out. Not today. I stacked them on the left, as you can see there, and it's a little more bold or dramatic. So that's what that looks like. Those are pretty together. I got a new concoction. They are so pretty. That's pretty right there. And it's still like not too dramatic. This is really good though. I like that. It's the dark and um, this looks like this and it has a mirror, a nice mirror too. Ooh, I see some fallout. So yeah, really nice mirror. But this is supposed to be dark and this is like not that dark. But anywho. I'm just trying to see if I like it or if it's like a little too light. So what I have been doing is using like a real technique sponge after I spray my face to just pat it in. I'm just patting it. I'm not trying to move the product around on my face already. Just trying to set it into place. So what I'm gonna go in with next is the ColourPop Wisp, I think. Wisp Super Cheek, Super Cheek, Super Shock Cheek. Um, highlighter and with this I always have to use my finger because a brush with this doesn't really work it doesn't really pick up product so I use my finger to pick it up so that's what that looks like my nails get so dirty when I do makeup ew on the nose up there uh, 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 uh. I didn't 
me to do that. Okay, we're gonna fix that later. I don't remember this being this pigment too. Now I'm looking like this in the picky. No, no. It's okay, we're gonna fix it. Alright, we're gonna fix it. So. Let's move this up. This blended and it looks fine. I have four of these and I've been sleeping because this glow is outrageous. Like, girl, I'm gonna take my super shot cheek and a satin finish, and this is Cheerio. So anyways, that's what this looks like. <laughs> um, hopefully it sets a little darker. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's pretty light. Like, it matches me, but it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know. So let me curl my hair and I'll be back. But I'm going to curl it in like a separate video. And I'll be back to show you guys like the finished look, I guess. So. Alright, so this is the final look. And um, I really like it. came together. I put on a mauve dress. I'm actually about to do a Charlotte Russe try on. So... This dress is so pretty, I want to show you guys in that video. So stay tuned for that. It most likely will be up. I want to say before this, but it will probably go up on the same day. But anywho, I love this look. Love the hair. It came out really nicely. And I feel like, I don't know. When y'all see the dress, y'all going to see why I'm saying like I feel, you know, kind of conservative. It got a little cleavage, but it's really cute. It's really simple. And honestly, I didn't think I would like this dress. I just went into Charlotte Russe and picked out a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Turns out I like it. And it goes really well with this makeup look. Very mauve very neutral kind of. So, yeah. That's this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is what the color pop is looking like. Honestly, it, it looks really good in my opinion. It's half the price of my Fenty. Probably less than that. So, um, I'm definitely looking forward to using this more often instead of using my Fenty every day. Because it's not cheap. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, every time I do a makeup look on here, it's kind of mauve And I know, like, I did that before. So, my bad. I just realized that. I hope this is not the same look. I used a different palette, though. 